So guys, Bola Metinibu, as a matter of fact, has vowed to review the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Remember the message that Northern has sent to him this last uh, past 10 days of the end, uh, pro, uh, end bad governance protest. You know, that sent a direct warning to him that these people are not comfortable with my government. You know, when we kept on shouting, return us to regional government, a lot of them, a lot of him in particular, being Bola Metinibu, probably did not understand why we are saying this. He did not. Now, today he has come. I'm going to show you what he said. How he's going to review the uh, constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The, because the Northerners, you know, have actually broken the bond because he wanted to use the same Northerners for 2027 presidential election. But now he has seen that these same Northerners have actually, you know, abandoned him. He, he has no allies. The South, he said, we are not going to align with you. Align with you. The South, South said, we are not going to align with you. The North has totally rejected him. Now, Balami Etinibu and his so called APC are. Isolated and they are on their own. Let me show you what this particular man being Bolami Etinibu said today because the North, look at what the North Northerners did. The, some of them went as far as which we condemned, you know, destroying his post and banner in the Northern areas, you know, started destroying properties of the APC, meaning that they don't want this particular political party again. Now, Bolatinibu, you know, is pay, paying heed and attention to all we've been saying in this channel. Let me show you and how some Northerners are even saying that we don't want Nigeria again, that it is time, as a matter of fact, people return back to their regions. A lot of things are in stock for you guys. Before I even show you what Balami Etinibu said today about uh, the, how he is going to review the uh, constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, I've often said it here, do well to subscribe, click on the notification button, so you can notified about the political issues and happenings in the country, and also subscribe to our channel. Please and please. Now let's dive back straight to the point. Now look at what Bala Ahmed Tinibu said today. He said, I will review requests for a new constitution after strengthening the economy, meaning that he has now understood that it is very paramount and important for him to review the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria for us to undervo in a way that is going to suit our diversities and our differences. I've often said it here until we come to the point of our realization and acceptance that we have different out of differences and diversities and how to live with them which is the, the return back to regional government and find a way to, to allow regions to govern themselves with people with similar ideologies and co and let me show you what he said he said i have faced the challenge of this democracy that i inherited this is what balam is saying after he said that he he, 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 he must actually you know review the request for uh, a constitutional reform and change in the country said i have faced the challenge of this democracy that i inherited from your struggles I must recognize the fact that these challenges are most required for good governance. He said, we have, no, we have no other choice and I believe also that it is most difficult to manage the twists and thorns of democratic governance. He said, I want to assure all of you that as I listen to you to your two major requests on the path to referendum, as I've written, listened to uh, uh, you two a major requests on the path to referendum, he was referring to people that actually you know, brought this question for him. He said, and... That sh and that should lead to constitutional measures that will fit our diversity and governance so that we will avoid conflicts and breakups. And this is the punchline of what I'm trying to I'm going to you know, read the other part. You know, look at what Balami Etinibu said here. That since he has listened to them about the cause for referendum and the need for new constitutional measures that will you know fit our diversity and this is the diversity i've often said the diversity of you know tribal and religious sentiments when a satana is a president like i've said we we, we, we the, the the protest that just happened last one was all about hunger but remember when Buhari was the president of this country the, most of the northerners did not carry out this level of protest that they did against balami etinibu yes you might not like balami etinibu's government we know that this apc government have plunged this country into extreme economic hardship so when Buhari was the president there is absolutely nothing that Buhari did not do he destroyed the economy and you know in fact there was the uh, the highest level of insecurity in the northern part of the country but they did not carry out this level of protest yes we understand that people have the right to protest anytime they want to protest but you could see that it is better for people to return back to their region okay look at what happened before this protest a lot of people started blaming the Igbos. some yoruba ronu bigots and apc bigots that were deceived by balami etinibu president ambitions wanted to go to the north to deceive the northerners that this protest was all about uh, uh is an Igbo agenda to destabilize and to destroy the country you know, like I've often said, these criminal leaders and politicians will always hide under the umbrella of these things to, 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 to destabilize the country. But when they saw that it is no longer working, when they saw that the, the Northerners are not even buying the idea that it is an Igbo agenda, because the Northerners, imagine the Northerners, like I've often said, are not necessarily comfortable when there is a certain president. Now, talk more of a certain president that is not really performing or probably that have caused a, a more economic hardship in the country. And they started protesting. They started protesting and instead of Balami Etinibu to look at the, 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 the main point why these people are protesting, you know, he surrounded himself with aides like Bayo Onanoga, Reno Mokri, FFK, people that kept on lying to him that it's an, it's an Igbo agenda and co and co, and co that it was P2B's agenda and that was what even made him to forget that the Northerners have their own agenda. 
and the Northern has carried out one of the biggest protests in the country for good 10 con con consecutive days that it even went as far as raising the Russian flag in a country like Nigeria to show their displeasure. So Mr. Tinibu said that he had heard the cause for a referendum and that, that he will make sure that you know he organizes what the, the constitutional measures that will fit our diversity and governance so that we will avoid conflicts and breakups. And this is the truth. And this is the truth. Nigeria, as a matter of fact, has actually come to a point whereby people are no longer comfortable with this uh, uh, unitary uh, system of government. So this is what Parliament Tinibu said. He said, I believe in the unity of this country and I want to assure you that whenever, whatever is necessary to put happiness and good governance in the hands of all Nigerians is what I will do. The avoidance of chaos is necessary to build that the avoidance of chaos is necessary to build this country and move its aspiration forward for the benefit of all. So this is what Balami Antinibu said and how he said that he was at a, as a matter of going to review the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria because one the handwriting on the wall showcase or is showing that people want to return back to their region. It's as simple as ABC. Now, let me show you again what happened today. What some northern, some what some northern elders have said. Look at what some northern elders said. They said that North is ready to break out from Nigeria. That not is ready to break out from Nigeria. This is what some of the northern leaders actually said recently. And you can see that most people are yearning to go back to their region. No, people are no longer comfortable. Let me even show you more. Because these are handwritings of the world that for Balami and Tinibu to return us back to regional government. That this unitary form of government is giving some leaders and some politicians the the the, the F1 tree and the immunity to commit all sorts of rascality without being held accountable. Now look at let, let me show you what some of these northern leaders said. This they said uh, this and other states, uh, other states might be uh, Chike Obidibu, you know, has commended the recent declarations by northern leaders regarding the potential division of Nigeria, calling it a significant development. This remarks follows a statement from Professor Angu Abdullahi, who is a northern leader, Angu Abdullahi, a respected northern leader, who suggested that Nigeria's amalgamation has run its course and proposed exploring separate paths for the country's region. This northerner is equally is you know advising Balami Tinibu that the amalgamation has ended, that he's even exploring this for people to return back to their regions. And you can see that everybody is tired of this regional uh, of this uh, unity form of government. Everybody, we until we said that the East, the Igbos, the Yorubas, and our outside have different ideological approach to a lot of things, politics and uh, even lifestyle. That is the only time this country will progress. It cannot combine two, three or more than three uh, regions or uh, uh, people with different ideologies together. It does not work that way. Let us practice this regional government so that even people will no longer focus more on the presidency. Remember, some of these state governors are not, most of all these state governors are not even held accountable because nobody focuses on them. Many people only focus on the seat of the presidency. But when we return back to regional government, people will definitely hold their leaders accountable. And no, these leaders will no longer say, uh, 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 hide under the, religion, uh, under the umbrella of religion and ethnicity. Look at what this person is saying. We are putting what a northern elder is saying, that the amalgamation of Nigeria you know, has come to an end. That we should actually explore means for us to return back to our regions and govern ourselves. What the northern has demonstrated, let me show you something. What the northern has demonstrated in this protest was that they are united in their region and they want themselves to, they want to have their own regional government. What the South Eastern has, I've said it before, the South Eastern has did not protest does not mean that they are not hungry or probably they are not angry. What they did was a form of their own protest. We are not happy or probably in support of this unitary form of government. That is why they, they, they came together and, you know, uh, arbitrarily agreed together not to participate in this protest. It shows you that they are one region. So if you see that people are already protesting in their regions in their own various ways for them to return back to regional government, if Balami Tinibu has ears, the first thing he should do as a matter of fact is for us for him to return us back to this regional government because this unitary government is not working. So let me uh, read for that. So he said that Professor Angu Abdullahi, a respected northern leader, suggested that Nigeria's amalgamation has run its course and proposed exploring separate paths for the country's region. Obidibo noted that this call for separation reflects a critical junction in Nigeria history. Particularly, this separation we're talking about is the return to regional government. Let us return back to regional government. This is what these people are emphatically saying and telling to Bola uh, Ahmed uh, Tinibu. Now, on another developing story, you know, uh, the governor of uh, Ebony State, being Governor Wifu, came out and said that that, sh that Ibo shunning protests in Satis should not be taken for granted. And this is the truth. Look at what Hopu Zanima came out and said that uh, he started applauding the Igbos, thinking that the Igbos are in solidarity uh, uh, with uh, what Balami Tinibu is doing. No, or with uh, uh, in support of this so-called APC or Balami Tinibu's government. No, the Igbos are protesting in their own way. 
They only said we are not going to participate in this protest simply because they know the majority of the Igbos, majority of the Igbos said we are not going to participate in this protest simply because they, 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 they knew that if anything happens in this protest that they will be blamed. Not only that, that, that their leaders will be blamed that they want to incite and destroy the country, which they even started saying even before the protest, you know, happened or probably you know, took place within the country. So they withdrew and said we are not going to participate in this protest. But not because they are not aggrieved, uh, they are not aggrieved, they are really aggrieved. This is what Governor Wifu is saying of Ebony State. That the Southeastern South leaders should not take the uh, silence of the uh, Southeastern indigenous for, for, for granted. They are protesting in their own way. They are not happy. Many of them are saying that they are marginalized and cool. It is that people want to return back to their regions and manage their resources. So, yeah, a very piece of advice from Parliament Tinebu. Everything I've just mentioned in this video is pointing towards that people are tired of this industry form of government. People want to return back to their regions. And again, this will bring healthy competition. And this will those are bring down this ethnic tension and religious tension in the country. We have by a northerner can tell you an Igbo man, man cannot be the president, an Igbo man will start fighting with the Yoruba person, the Yoruba person will start fighting against an Igbo man. All these ethnic tensions we are having in the country is because we are practicing in this form of government. 